But as you, you start to move into that AI and that natural language processing, which is under the AI bucket, you now begin to, to have the power to control all of this printed text. All right, I'm pleased to welcome Chet Chambers. You are the vice president, but also better, chief evangelist for the Americas at UiPath. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Yep, glad to be here. So you're, I mean, at this point, you're taking really complex topics and having to distill them down to something that's understandable to right. you know, the lowest common denominator. I mean, tell me about that when it comes to AI. Yeah, so, so with, with AI, the, the interesting thing about RPA and AI, at HP, I, I was the executive director of innovation. So I had data science, I had analytics, and I had robotics. Those were all under my direct purview. They were mine to, to build. What we decided on day one is that anything AI, anything data science, anything analytics, it is going to sit inside our RPA framework. Mm -hmm. And by that I mean if the data science algorithms needs data from here or there, bot, go get it. Right. Uh, if we, we need to do something with that data, clean it, validate it, uh, post it somewhere, bot, go handle it. Uh, if we're, once the algorithms are done and we begin to, to share uh, the insight that comes from these AI engines, bot, take that to where it needs to go, put it in the format it needs to be in, and make sure it's there on time. And by the way, send me a, a confirmation when they've opened it. Mm -hmm. So from your perspective, and not just from, with UiPath, but just your, your um, perspective as a professional, right. what gets you most excited um, when you're looking three to five years out sure. um, in the space of AI? Where, I mean, where, sure. what application space, what sectors, um, what gets you most excited? So I black out if I go out three to five years. All right, and, let's and go, and 18 the reason, months. And the, the, <laughs> Whatever and the, the reason with. that I'm telling you that is that the growth that you guys have seen in the last 18 to 24 months in RPA, is it will pale in comparison to what you'll see the first time one of these guys crack a true AI because we will immediately be able to apply that across all of our install base. You'll be able to bolt it in, and it will be readily available for those that are on the framework. But the amount of dollars that will be saved through the intelligence that comes from true analytics, I'm not talking about dashboards, I got and it. I'm not talking about reports, everybody does those. Right. I'm talking about true statistical analysis. What does the mass say is going to occur in this situation? What do my data science algorithms say are going to occur during this, this situation, when can I be prescriptive more so, when can I be predict or predictive more so, when can I be prescriptive? And the values that's going to be generated uh, in the next few months will dwarf everything uh, that's come before it. So 18 months, somebody's going to crack this at some point. Uh, and being able to bolt that in and watch what happens when everybody gets access to this new working engine, that's, what, that's what's exciting. So as an evangelist, you're sitting down with a, an executive and they're worried about um, bringing AI into the fold within their sure. company. What, what are you telling them? How are well, you getting them comfortable? So AI is a term that has been bastardized, for lack of a better term, in the, in the business sure. community. It's a set of technologies that a very skilled uh, group of people use to manipulate whatever the situation is, uh, is that they're in. So I use intelligent OCR in bringing in my invoices. There's six major fields. Okay. Now, form-based wouldn't do it because sometimes there's something smudged over, but intelligent OCR understands that this might be that and I have a probability of it working this way. Well, as that starts to progress where it's, it's much more accurate, you'll see it applied to contracts. You'll see it applied to remittance. You'll see it applied everywhere in HR, the tax guys. Could you imagine being able to load a, a digital copy of the new tax code and it to come back to you and say, okay, here are all the changes. Incredible. Here's what it was, here's what it is. Now that's not possible today, but as you, you start to move into that AI and that natural language processing, which is under the AI bucket, you now begin to, to have the power to control all of this printed text that we have in digital format now, but we don't know what's on it. Right. And when I say we, I'm not talking about UiPath, I'm talking about the world at large. Understood, understood. Well, this has been incredible. I, I still think it is the best title yeah. that I've run across. I love it, you should, you should wear it with pride. I do.